Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Bright in My Hands, is a part of the Wreck and Rule Collection, an Amazon exclusive. It's part of the Transformers Legacy set. Uh, from the Diaclone universe, we have Twin Twist, which I'm kind of looking forward, this, uh, forward to. This is a pretty cool looking figure and definitely a new one for my Transformers collection. Uh, now, the Wreck and Roll is kind of like a subset grouping of uh, five releases. Four out uh, now. One seems to be a little bit delayed. It's kind of interesting that the, the four are out. And with it, uh, there's some cool stuff. Is that the packaging, you can bring all five together and it forms a cool picture. And then the other is that there's this, like, hammer uh, that you can put together uh, when you get all the sets. So let's open up and show off Twin Twist. I vaguely remember this figure way back in the day of uh, Transformers. I think this is towards the end of when I was collecting uh, figures. So we got part of the hammer. I'm guessing this is uh, the grip of it, maybe. I don't know. It's like a cardboard hammer. It's kind of cheesy. I'll, I'll admit on that. I thought it was going to be something a bit more uh, interesting, but apparently not. Um... Well, this is intriguing packaging. Well, that's definitely different. No twist ties here. It's a whole bunch of cardboard and cardboard. That's, uh, that was actually really interesting. All right, let's see how ooh, ooh, we got. We got a little bit. Why would you do that? It makes no sense. All right, I think that's everything now. All right, let's do the stand up for Twin Twist and see how Twin Twist stand uh, uh, holds up here. Yeah, so pretty well. And let's go movement of legs, feet, nothing there. Knees, a lot of movement. The knee is very loose on this figure. Yeah, both knees are really, really loose on that one. Upper leg twists, hip movement, everything you'd expect. It's got a nice ball joint. Waist, there. We do get movement up and down on that, but I have a feeling that's more to do with the transformation than anything else. Um, arm, it's a ball joint, so full movement there. Elbow, it looks like kind of kind of double, yeah, double joint, I would say. Um, hand, yeah, there's some, it's not really, I think, meant to do that, but you can you can move it if you want. Of course, head twists around. This, this figure is a lot of loose uh, joints. And then, of course, we've got a gun that breaks apart. The head's very loose as well, and that's because it is a headmaster. I love the headmasters. I was such a sucker for headmasters when I was younger. So I said that was that's towards the end of my collecting of Transformers. What do we mean by headmasters? And pop off the head, and you've got your own little figure there. I was such a massive sucker for head, headmasters. I loved headmasters. All that stuff was just so, to me such a cool thing. Um, with transformers, such such a cool thing. That's intriguing. All right, so let's go and see if I can transform. Transform this one. All right, looks much simpler. I might not mess this one up. We'll see. Failed miserably yesterday with Springer. All right, so far so good. Um, 
It doesn't feel like, you know, the head should, the leg should just kind of pop off like that. That doesn't feel like a good... do this one. So far so good. Alright. Well, so, yeah, that keeps on coming off. It just feels like that's not the right way of going about it. So this waist joint could be really helpful being able to, you know, take this apart, put it together, do some cool stuff, but also seems to be kind of annoying. Alright, I think I did this right. I don't know if I did it right, but I'm going to say I did it right. I'm going to go with this. Really close. For those who've watched my videos and know how horrible I am at putting things together, I, I feel like you should be totally giving me the benefit of the doubt on that one. Alright, so we got this, and they show... Seriously. It's a little sidecar. All right, uh, I'm gonna go simple transformation. I was able to get it done, which makes me feel so, so solid. Um, pretty cool design, I like it. This is definitely a, a unique figure for me in my collection. It's not one I normally have uh, for Transformers, so that's, that's pretty cool. At least I got something new and unique and it's not just a repaint to me. Now, it might be to you. Uh, so overall, I'm very happy about this. As I said, I'm like a huge fan of of Headmasters, and uh, this has like this, this has a nice scratching the itch vibe to it for me. Um, so overall, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's, it's pretty cool. There's definitely something to it that I, I think is pretty neat, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can go get this now. It is in, uh, you can get it from Amazon. It is an exclusive from them, and yeah, it's uh, pretty much everything you need to know as far as that. Um, so as I said, you can get it from Amazon. Um, <clears throat> we've got a link beneath this video where you can purchase it yourself. 
Uh, it is an affiliate link, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And just watching our videos support us, so thank you for that as well. If you are in two Transformers, you can check us out every single day. Whoops. You can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep playing with your toys. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.